Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video. The Champions League is back and yes, this probably should have posted before the uh, games, but it will post now in between the first legs. I have managed to get for all 16 teams in the round of 16 at least a jersey. But not all of them are mine, which we'll talk about that as well. But uh, I think it's pretty, pretty cool and so we have for every one of the 16 teams I chose one shirt that I want to show you. We'll make this background here a little bit nicer in the process as well. Yes, this video probably should have posted uh, before the first legs got underway, so it's now uh, somewhere in between. It's just how the scheduling works out. I would say let's get started right away and I'll do it in the order, reverse order of how they are favorites according to my model. And so we start with the least favorite and also the most special jersey in a way, which is Copenhagen. This is not my jersey. This is the European home jersey from 1213 and I borrowed it from a colleague who I knew had this jersey and I said to him, you know, um, would you mind giving this to me because I saw him wear, wear, wearing it once um, and he said sure let me know and he brought it to me I said I'll borrow it as long as Copenhagen are still uh, alive so I guess for two or three weeks I will have it in my collection I have to say it's a very interesting Adidas template with the slivers right here so I want to actually spend on this one maybe more more time than on the other shirts also the way that the sleeves are constructed there's another sliver here I think it's really, really, really in in interesting. It's black. It's blank on, on, on the back with more sleeves. But gotta say, it's overall a quite nice shirt um, for Copenhagen. We will never ha really have that exciting shirts, but hey, I have at least for these videos a Copenhagen shirt, which I actually like quite a bit. Next up is one of my favorite shirts, club club shirts. It's the 1819 Lazio home jersey, the eagle shirt. Yes, not classic Lazio, but so classic Lazio in, in, in another way. This is one of the best designs that Lazio had. I use it in my videos, I actually stand in for a white away or a blue home jersey. It's a home jersey, but you know, with the white, I can get, get away with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really lo love it. I don't have habits with sponsor. Even like how it uh, wraps around and that was a real nice name set with 3D numbers. Yeah, brilliant shirt. Porto on the next team and for Porto, yeah, after the brilliant Lazio shirt, it's a not so brilliant shirt. I just needed a Porto jersey once and that's the one that I managed to get for a decent price. The 12-13 home jersey. I probably like my Porto a little bit thinner strap, not this kind of almost Ajax look except for the sleeves. I do love the crest on this one. I love the material. I'm not necessarily sold on the design per se. But this is my Porto jersey for now and let's see if I will ever get a different one. And for the last jersey that will not go up on the wall, Leipzig. Never thought I will have a Leipzig jer jersey. I really missed out on the one the season before that I, I, I also had a wild pattern. But I have, have to say I do like this as well. I like that it is dark and still colorful. It's really, really, really brilliant shirt in that sense. Um, but yeah, I never thought I will have a Leipzig jersey because I don't really like Red Bull, but for my videos, I just needed it. So here is my Leipzig jer uh, jersey. Will I get a home jersey? That remains to be seen. For Real Sociedad, I also have only one shirt, but it's quite beautiful, I have to say. I really love the uh, thin stri striping and that it's a uh, darker blue and then a lighter blue on the, on the side. Really well done, love, love, love the color. Also like that this is RS imprint behind the crest. It is a blank, although I was really uh, contemplating a number because I don't like this, uh, you know, all blue back, but what can I say? It's a beautiful jersey. I got it from the club store. It came with a free Europa League patch. They didn't do that great in the Europa, Europa League uh, that season. Uh, it's an absolute brilliant, brilliant jersey for a really, really well-run team. Okay, for PSV, I chose the 1920 away jersey. Uh, also with Europa League patches, although we're talking Champions League. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, this jersey, although upon release I didn't really like it all that much, became a whole lot more interesting once Lusk beat 
PSV wearing his jersey at home 4-1 in this brilliant Europa League campaign that we had. And I've come around. Yes, the orange is maybe not a uh, color that I would associate with PSV. However, I really like the checkerboard pattern here. And I got this from my friend Matt, who's, uh, who gifted it, 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 it to me. It even comes with the names at Bruma. So a uh, really, really cool jer uh, jer jersey, I have to say. One that I'm really happy to have in my collection. For Napoli, I had a few choices, but I decided, okay, it's a Champions League video, let's to take the European home jersey from 1617. This was my first ever Napoli jersey, um, one that I've been using, but I don't think I've ever shown it off like, like this, because I have some Napoli jerseys that I like a whole lot more. I really like the golden logos here. Uh, let the sponsor, that's why I got it, has only one, once was because they had, had more. Of course, I would like it if there was no box there. It is a blank, it is copper, it's kind of tight fitting, but another beautiful Napoli, classic Napoli jersey, I would have to say. Atleti, let's go with my first Atleti jersey, which is the 1617 home jersey. The last one when they were in the Vicente Calderon, so we have the Calderon uh, pictured in here. I think it's a very classic Atleti shirt with the old style crest still, which is seemingly coming coming back. Sponsor maybe, yeah, I mean, it's a box, but it actually doesn't bother me that much. La Liga patch as well, should be a champ, 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 patch. It's blank on, on the back. I actually like how the stripes are thick and then get a little, a little bit thinner. Makes it actually look a teeny bit more dynamic when you uh, wear, wear it and then you have the side striping here as well. To add a little blue, I usually like a little bit more blue, you know, if the sleeve cuffs were blue, I would like it better. Uh, it's a very um, nice jersey to wear and when I got it, this was full with stains and I managed to get all the grass and whatever stains are out of it. It looks quite pristine, I gotta say. Maybe the swoosh here is not that so. For this video, I've actually chosen quite a few 1819 shirts, and this is also true for Dortmund, where I chose the 1819 away jersey. Yes, it's one of the two Dortmund jerseys I have. I actually really like this headered pattern here up top, and then the yellow uh, sleeves and uh, you know the yellow pattern here. Uh, it's a really nice away jersey. I got this for really cheap with a name set to boost with uh, Witzel. I mean, not a typical Dortmund player, but I was quite pleased with that. And Bundesliga, Liga patch, Opel logo as well. So I think it's uh, overall quite a nice shirt, I gotta say. Now, for Dortmund, I could have chosen a yellow jersey because, you know, it's the only really yellow team to add a little bit more color back there. How do I make it up with Barca? And we have a classic at the 08 09 away, famous for that goal by Iniesta at Stamford Bridge, of course. It's also falling. <laughs> um, it is probably my favorite Barca away jersey. I, ha I have to say, I like the yellow look with the blaugrana stripe. Although, uh, this is, I think they should have made this blue a little bit lighter to fit more with, with the blue from the crisp and the. Brilliant jersey from a brilliant team. It was also used as a third jersey for the next season. And it has the El Cant del Barça uh, in there as well, which is, of course, the, the club's anthem. Honestly, if you wear it, this kind of gets stuck on your back, which is annoying. But so I'm not going to wear this a whole lot. A, as I said, it's a brilliant jersey. I one that I absolutely love and happy to have this one. Let's go a little bit more retro, not too much more retro, but a little bit more re retro and another one, a little bit off colored one for, for the team, but I chose for PSG the 0607 away jersey, the Louis Vuitton inspired one. Brown is not one of my favorite colors by far, probably even on the other end of the spectrum. A brown and gold and the, the Emirates sponsor, I wonder, couldn't this have been gold as well, but you know, back then gold was not so uh, simple. Um, yes, it is brown and gold. I mean, it's brown and beige, let's be frank. It is a very unique jer 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 jersey and I only have it because someone was selling this for uh, such a uh, steal of a price. God, I say, it was a really, really cool one. So blank on the back and it's the old PSG logo. It's in a way an underrated classic of PSG was not a good team at that time. Okay, let's go to one of the most underrated teams in this season, which I think could go really far if the draw goes right. 
last season's finalists in Inter. I got this jersey just before the final. This is a player issue. This is a vape on it uh, from the 1819 season. Yes, this jersey caused a lot of hurt, but I have, have to say it was always one of my more preferred Inter jerseys, especially the snakeskin pattern coming here on the bottom. Uh, it's a double XL fits loosely i'm not gonna wear this uh, if at all a lot if at all um it is blank on the back but i was really happy to pick pick pick, pick this up because you know in the final you need a few more and i think it's a very classy into shirt to be honest we have reached the last four and for arsenal i've decided to really go vintage 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 my first arsenal jersey i bought it at high hybrid to 2000 to 2002 home jersey what a classic uh with the old style arsenal crest dreamcast sponsor it still has the classic uh, sleeves but there's also the navy Cup coming in it's a jersey i absolutely love i got it with premier league patches uh have good memories uh getting it classic absolute classic three teams left and we're gonna go to bavaria and for Bayern, I could have chosen many, but this season they don't have a red jer jersey. So let's, say, let's take a European home jersey from 15-16. I really like that color scheme. I also, full color, color crest. I could have gone with a pink crest. They avoided it. Really, really dark blue with some pink. I have to say it looks quite nice. And it's one of my favorite Adidas templates to boot. Although you don't, I don't see it here. But yeah, I think this one is totally underrated. Uh, I like it better than what they have this year. Okay, for the team that I'm wearing, Champions League royalty, the royalty, it's Real Madrid. And I went here with the oldest jersey in this entire video. It's my first ever Real Madrid jersey. The 98 to 2000 home, home, home jersey. It's still my favorite Real Madrid jersey. Although the centenary ones come close, but there's something about it, the sparkling blue the way that the navy without taking too much away from the shirt to take a sponsor and of course a whole lot of emotional weight since i saw them twice play bayern twice losing to bayern but making two to the final nonetheless it's a brilliant shirt absolutely brilliant gorgeous late 90s jersey adidas at the time were undeniable and we end this video with the champions and still very much the favorites with a jersey that at the time i still don't like city all that much but at the time when this was released i thought this is one of the best jerseys that has been released it's the 1819 city away jersey what a brilliant color scheme clubs colors the, you know the um the really fluorescent green in there as well yes it harks back to one of famous kappa jer uh, jersey but i think that this is really well done got it even with the sleeve patches they won the league in Brighton in this jersey, so, so this is also special. It is a blank on, on, on the back. I think I got it on sale from a local sports store, but it's a really, a really, really nice looking jersey, I gotta say. So there you have it. 16 teams, 16 jerseys. Please let me know which ones in here did you like uh, the best. Did I choose the right ones? Should I have chosen different ones? These are the ones that I came, came up with. I really had fun doing this video. I'll probably do a similar one once we get to the semi-final stage or final stage. So let's see about that. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.